Right, okay. Uh, what we have here is my grab bag or bug, bug out bag. Um, obviously, seen a lot of videos online, people doing stuff like this, so I thought I'd do my own and I'd share. Um, what I'm actually using for the bag is MTP, uh, British Army, British military issue, uh, MTP grab bag or ammo bag. Um, originally made to hold ammo, grenades, um, and other pyrotechnics or whatever you need to cram into it. Uh, so on the front, it consists of uh, magazine pouches for SA-80 magazines, but uh, which are also the same as M4s um, and I believe AR-15s. Uh, each one it holds around three magazines. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm not having magazines in my bug out bag. Um, and then also on the sides, these two are grenade, frag grenade pouches. And I believe that is possibly uh, some other type of ammo pouch. Um, and then on the inside, uh, it would be suitable normally to hold, say, 7.62 uh, machine gun uh, belt belts, uh, rounds, or whatever else you need to cram into it. But I'm, I've used this, I've chose this because of the quality. Uh, it's made for the British military. Uh, top top quality, top sewing strengths, uh, top strength material, uh, really robust. Um, this one has been used, it was used in uh, Afghanistan, that's why it's a bit dusty and so on. Uh, but yeah, I picked this one up for £15 off eBay, watching the right sort of auctions. And I don't know what they sell for new, but probably quite a lot more than that. Okay, so I'll go into what's actually inside. Bear in mind, this is the UK, so the restrictions on weapons and so on like that. So this is really focused not on weapons at all, really, but um, survival, uh, survival equipment. Uh, very, very limited. You know, just the needs for basic things like shelter, uh, food, and water. And what's in this would help you really. So I'll start with the um, grenade pouches, what I've put in here. This is a wind-up FM radio. Um, obviously, go with wind-up because there's no batteries. Um, this will last for as long as forever, as long as you don't damage it, you know. Uh, and if shit hits a fan, you can you can uh, listen out on the radio and see um, if something's being broadcasted. Headphones, so you can be discreet about it. You can listen to it very quietly. So FM radio, I think that's pretty crucial. I have a multi-tool. Again, um, I'm not covering any weaponry in this video. Um, I'll do it in later videos. So no need for large knives and stuff like that at this moment in time. Multi-tool, very obvious. Screwdrivers, bottle openers, pliers, uh, scissors and so on. Okay, so that was the two grenade pouches. Go into the side pouch on the other side, which I've put uh, med supplies. Very, very basic med supplies, just uh, basically a trauma kit. Um, uh, a dressing, first aid dressing um, for minor cuts and then I have a Israeli uh, hemorrhage control bandage um, it's what the British Army use, uh, this is issued to ourselves uh, I believe, I was told by a medic that these can absorb up to a one pint of blood um, so it's a bit of a trauma bandage really for bullet shots, large cuts uh, anything like that, uh, and that's all I'm carrying on med supplies in, in my grab bag, obviously limited on space. Go into the three front ammo pouches. This is um, kind of a bit of a rescue um, uh, lighting or uh, sound and smoke equipment. I'll show you why and what I've got. I've got a very large blue smoke bomb. Uh, this gives off around about one minute to a minute and a half of very bright distinctive uh, blue smoke so it um, could be used as a rescue tool uh, if you needed to alert a helicopter or 
uh, car and so on um, or you could use it to uh, to avoid being seen across the field and so on uh, as there's enough a video I'll upload of how effective they, these are they're only about two pound as well so it's a blue smoke bomb I have what called uh, the MK5 Thunder Flash again it's a very loud bang um, it could be used as a deterrent or a distraction uh, to show, I don't know, there's loads of situations where you might need to seem bigger than what you are or seem like you have a weapon by setting this off. Uh, again, these are only about a pound and they weigh, they weigh nothing. Glow sticks, usual green glow stick, um, loads of different purposes. Uh, this is a torch, but a wind up torch, again, crucial because. Uh, if you're out for a long period of time, you're not going to have access to batteries. Um, this one is very handy. It's uh, very powerful, um, white light, um, but it also, uh, importantly, from someone like me from a military background, um, it does red light as well. Uh, you probably can't see it very well in the video, um, but if you know anything about the military, red light is used uh, to avoid being seen. So if I'm trying to read a map, um, or just trying to move around the woods or wherever uh, quietly uh, using red light. Um, it also doubles up as a lamp then it pops out like this. Uh, you can click it on um, white or red light and it does SOS. Yeah, so wind up torch. Doesn't need batteries. It'll go for as long as I keep it. Uh, and it's also water resistant. Uh, so a good bit of kit. And that's the first ammo pouch. Second, um, again, if I'm out for a period of time, I might be trying to hunt or um, use this if anyone was to attack me. Again, restricted on laws in the UK. Uh, it is just a standard, powerful but standard uh, slingshot. Um, handy bit of kit, very light, uh, very powerful, um, would be good against uh, rabbits, fox badger, possibly birds, um, if you know how to use it it will be quite handy. Um, people talked about your know, uh, currency being worth nothing um, if shit hits the fan really bad and I've gone with a gold bar as a as a your ha uh, haggling or bargain or if you get into trouble you might need to pay someone out so it's protected in that and that's one troy ounce, 100 mils of gold so obviously could be cut off or used small light uh, I've got in here it's basically an emergency fishing kit I won't go into depth exactly what's in there, it's just the crucials, um, efficient wire, hooks, um, swivels, hooks, weights, lures, um, so pretty handy, it was only a couple of quid, it's sealed in a watertight, uh, so that's possibly a, a food, good food source uh, around the UK, using it in ponds or lakes or streams. Very small book, um, £5 off eBay has absolutely everything very small and uh, no matter how much you train you can't remember everything um, so in here it covers everything to do with uh, land, sea and in the wild and I've had a glance through and it is literally everything so if you had a question about anything fire starting, shelter building um, supplies, water supplies, food, it'll all be in that book so couple of quid it would be crucial if you're stuck in a survival situation. Um, some 550 power, power, paracord, uh, obviously the, the strongest of the strong paracord used on shelter building or doing some um, traps, game traps, rabbit traps. Flint and striker, obviously everyone knows water resistant you know the bag goes in the stream or you get it completely wet the flint's still gonna work um, I'm gonna get that on the tie actually on the bag so I don't lose it because it's uh, crucial 
um, some all weather all weather win matches, uh, military issue of the British military ration packs uh, they don't go out even if you put them in water or stand on them once they're lit they'll burn all the way to the end and they like when they're wet and so on but they're in a water type bag as well too right, that's everything from the middle ammo last ammo pouch um, I've chose uh, a foldable saw um, the type of environment around most of the UK is a lot of woods um, a lot of green growth this thing will let you build uh, a lot better shelter than what you could with your hands you know just snapping twigs and so on you can cut quite chunky uh, logs or trees and use them to make better beds better roofs uh, you know and so on so on uh, folds up nice and handy uh, very sharp blade again just a couple of quid uh, I've gone with these uh, they're basically barbed wire cutters um, again the type of um, environment where I live in the UK uh, there's a lot of farms, a lot of fields uh, a lot of wire fencing um, small quite light but they could come in really handy if you needed to be uh, sneaky or shit hits the fan as everyone says and uh, people start using a lot more barbed wire or a lot more fencing um, they might become quite crucial uh, so I keep them well, let's have a think out the front ammo so all the quick grab pockets go into the main section now which opens up like so um, I have a metal mess tin, cooking mess tin and inside I've stored a large amount of metal bulbarians um, I believe there's 200 there obviously in use with the slingshot um, yes I could use stones but I think these have helped my accuracy be a lot more powerful um, mess tin is the food and water um, a tool basically so that's where I've kept um, some water equipment as well I have 50 um, purification tablets uh, each tablet is one litre of water so for a bug out um, it's crucial to have if you get water from the streams around here or lakes uh, ponds um, and use that to make sure it's safe and then I have a one litre water container which is empty so it can be folded up nice and small uh, and that's the door going I will come back okay that last video got uh, disturbed by the door going and it was the post woman uh, bringing me more internet parcels which probably have a few more bits and bobs like what you're seeing now because uh, I get majority of it online cheaper and easier anyway back to the water container um, yeah a one litre water bag with drinking hose so it can be uh, fed out of my ammo bag um, so I don't need to go rooting in every time I want to drink drop a purification tablet in there take this uh, fill it up from a stream and that's it then a mess tin people might ask what's what's the point um, in a mess tin on a, a bug out bag or a grab bag well it's small really light and if you're cooking uh, cooking over an open fire this will play a crucial part in keeping things clean um, cook all sorts of different food inside, fry it, uh, you can add water and steam cook things boil them um, I think a, a metal source to cook on uh, that's clean and safe is pretty crucial um, again you can use it to collect water um, use it to collect rain water uh, while you're sleeping um, drop a purification tablet in it again, uh, so pretty crucial. And last thing in the ammo bag, which is now empty, is a ripstop uh, poncho, um, which I've tied up just to keep it tight. Uh, but this thing is probably two meters by three meters large, maybe yeah, around about that size. Um, 
British Army issue. Uh, if you're from Britain and in the forces, you understand how much we use ponchos. Simple bit of string off a tree to a tree, or even on the ground, uh, set up shelter uh, within a couple of minutes. Um, you can use it as a stretcher. Um, we're trained always using them for a stretcher that's strong enough to hold people. Um, also, this one has the hood in the middle, um, so it can be worn. Uh, full body protection from the rain. Uh, yeah, so pretty crucial for a bug out grab uh, bag or a survival situation. Uh, fast, easy, quick shelter uh, from rain, snow, wind. Um, so that's why I decided to stick a poncho in there. Um, one last thing I didn't really show was um, I bought a couple of these. They were only uh, really cheap. They're just completely watertight metal um, storage. Um, basically, they screw open and you have quite a small space, um, but completely watertight, safe space uh, in there. Um, and they weigh nothing, so I'm thinking of putting either some um, fire tim uh, fire timber in there or something like cotton wool, maybe um, soaked in a, a bit of oil, or you could use it uh, to put um, medicine in if you had crucial medicine and you needed just enough su a short supply of tablets that keep them dry, safe, and they won't get crushed, or you could even put uh, a phone SIM card in there or something along those lines. Yeah, that is the um, everything that I have in that bug out bag, grab bag, um, which I think covers pretty much all the basics, um, which is your you know your food, water, shelter, um, and fire as well, um, and everything there can help you do that, including some rescue rescue tools, uh, some comms. Uh, yeah, um, so separate videos come in along lines of uh, weaponry, body armour, um, and so on like that. Um, full uh, bug out bags, large Bergen bags, I'll do in separate videos. This is just a very small, uh, lightweight bug out bag. Um, I think you could uh, put in it. Okay, thank you.